Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G5s, and today I will show you how to bypass the Google verification. Now, to get started, you will need to connect to your Wi-Fi, which I already am, and from there, once you connect, simply go back to the first page, which is this one right over here. Tap on Vision Settings, and then select Talk Back, enable it, confirm it, and mute the annoying Talk Back because it's gonna start talking and narrating whatever you do, which is uh, extremely frustrating. So once you mute it, what you want to do is draw an L on the screen, basically like so. And from here, go to Talkback Settings, tap on, tap on it once to select it, double tap to confirm it. And from here, you want to hold volume up and volume down, both keys together. And this will bring up the Suspend Talkback option. Tap on OK, double tap to confirm, and now we can actually use the touch screen. So from here, scroll down to Help and Feedback. And from here, select Use Morse Code. Tap on the video to start playing it. Tap on the three dots and go to Watch Later. And this should open up your Google browser. From here, you want to select to accept and continue. Sign into Chrome, no thanks. And tap on the search bar on the top and navigate to hardreset.info. There we go. And I think I mistyped something. Yep, definitely. Okay, there we go. So once you're on the website, tap on the three bars and go to the download category. Scroll a little bit down, tap on a search for the downloads right there. And what you're looking for is Android 7.1.2. like so and from there search for it you should only have one result which is this one right here frp bypass android 712 and 10. tap on the download scroll down and from here you will have this download link so you want to hold this option select open an incognito tab let's update permission and allow it and this will bring up the download so confirm it by tapping on ok and open now before I progress any further, I will explain why we did it this way, so you're not confused. So there's this kind of bug that sometimes happens when you try to download something. Normally, it will start the download, it will reach 100% and it will never finish the download. And I'm not exactly sure what is causing it, but it's kind of random, so sometimes it may happen, sometimes it may not. Uh, but opening up an incognito literally removes that problem completely. So when file doesn't actually finish downloading even though it's a hundred percent you cannot open it so that's why we do it this way so from here once you open it up you want to go to the settings once it prompts you scroll down and select the unknown sources tap on ok and go back let's go to the downloads and tap on it again then go to next and install Okay, so once it's done installing, I can tap on open, uh, go back, go back, and from here, tap on the search bar, and basically, let's try to select, trying to select only the part that I need, so I'm gonna remove basically everything past the info slash and from here as you can see hard reset that info slash and type in bypass like so and this will bring up a couple apps right here but we're interested in this one settings once you tap on it confirm it and it opens up settings and here we're gonna start off by going into security Scrolling down to, where is it? 
device administrators. Tap on the Android device manager and deactivate for deactivate. As you can see now it's all turned off. So now we want to go back and go to apps. Tap on three dots and go to show system. And scroll down to G. Um, there we go. So we're looking for this specific one, Google Play Services. And from here, simply disable it, like so. Now, just to be sure, we can also disable the Play Store. Disable up, there we go. And go back, back once more. And now you want to scroll down to Accounts, tap on Add Account, and choose Google, right there. And in here, simply log in with your Google account. Now, if you don't have one, you can always create one. Even though you have a button right over here, I would discourage you from using it. I don't know how well that works. Uh, so I would basically advise you to do it on your computer. And then once you create that account, I can log in. Uh, you can also use your existing account if you have one. Uh, it doesn't really matter. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my account. There we go, let's tap on next. And from here, I'm gonna put in a password. And then tap on accept. It brings me, bring me up to the next page. Welcome, nothing welcomes me uh, better than Google Terms of Service, so let's agree to it. And from here, you will see this plenty of times. Completely disregard it, just tap off of the screen, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this app crashing uh, doesn't really matter anymore. Uh, we installed it so we can add Google account. Without this app, uh, if you go to add account, whoops, let's go back to settings. Uh, without this app, if you try to add Google account, Google would not even been an option in there. It wouldn't be showing up at all. So that's why we needed it. So from here, uh, once you add your Google account, you wanna go back to apps and then re-enable the Google apps. So show system again, and let's scroll down to G. There we go. So again, enable the two apps that we have disabled, which is the Google Play Services and Play Store. And once you have enabled them, you want to do is hold parky restart okay so once we're back in uh plug back suspended exit it's just selected so it's back on so again we need to hold volume up and the volume down suspend the up double tap and there we go and from here you want to progress to the setup Let me quickly put in the password. For some reason, it can't log in. There we go. And as you can see, right now it gives us an information that account was added, and that is the account that I have added right before the restart. It basically overrides the account that was blocking us. So from here, tap on the next. Now, I'll mention right now, uh, the process is still not finished, even though right now we will gain access to home screen, the account that was blocking us is still on the device. So what we will need to do is basically finish up the setup, go to settings and perform a factory reset through settings, at which point this will uh, fully remove the uh, old account. So from here, let's skip anything that it pops up with. And I just finish this up. OK, 
can I progress without actually? There we go. That was super annoying. So now that we're on the home screen, what you want to do is go to the settings. From here, scroll all the way down to backup and reset. Factory data reset, reset phone and erase everything. And this in turn will fully unlock the device. Uh, now it will bring us back to the setup screen, but that is completely fine. From there, we can set up our device the way we want to. And the process will be at that point completely finished. So I'll be back once the reset is finished. Okay, so now that we're back in the setup screen, I'm gonna quickly go through it, skipping as much as I can. But like I said before, by all means, you can set it up as however you like. I think I might have gone through the setup a little bit too quick where it's still trying to figure out what is happening. Let me try to reboot the device because I'm not exactly sure what's happening. There we go. So, as you can see, we're now fully in the device. And that is basically how you would bypass the Google on this device. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.